HP here and today we're going to create a photo album. If you're here because you ordered a 2021 kit, you're in the right place. Hopefully you've already forked the template. Let's press run to see what we have. In our index.html, we have a row and three columns within the row. We have our left and right arrows defined as well. And in our CSS page, we can see colors and placements defined of the images and arrows on our page. Our JavaScript file defines the way the arrows work. In our album, if you press on the right arrow when you're on the last page, you'll go to the first page of your album. Back to our index.html. So far, we have only one page of pictures. Let's make another one. Let's copy and paste the row and change the pictures. As you can see, the first page has pictures of the ordered pair. Can we do the same for Meta Plus Tutoring? Let us now rename the alternate names. These will show up instead if our images don't show up for some reason. Now press run. Cool, it's working. We have two pages on our album. Feel free to make more in a similar manner. Now, what if we wanted to have four pictures instead of three on a page? Let's just add another column. And by the way, feel free to type this out for more practice instead of copying and pasting. Let's press run. Hmm, that doesn't look the way we want it to look. So let's go back to our CSS file. The columns are defined with a width of 33%. 100% divided by three columns is 33%. With four columns, we should do 100% divided by four, 25%. That looks much better. If you plan on adding more columns, make sure you're consistent on all the pages. The last thing I wanted to show to you was how to upload your own images. So click on the three dots and press upload file. Alternatively, you can drag or drop files or folders to upload. If you wanna create a new folder in order to stay organized, you can add folder and title it, and then add your own files or folders. Here's to hoping you make many more memories in the new year. Thank you.